Oh, heroes! Jill Smith here again. Another gear review Friday. Hey, had two containers here uh, from Horror Freight. Two cases. The uh, Bocce case, Jill Smith uh, took a look at a couple weeks ago. And then this ammo can here. Right in here again today. Got a little bit of break. That needs a bent in here for 24 hours and I do two cases because or two center blocks there because one almost wasn't enough to pull that Apache case under let's grab these got some rocks and the ammo can bring them up here got napkins in them they've been submerged since yesterday afternoon, 24 hours. Uh, and this one ended up leaking a little bit over the course of 24 hours, it looks like. The original review, it stayed dry for a minute, but 24 hours submerged, it did end up leaking. But at the same time, normally it's not going to get submerged. It's going to probably float. Unless you just got a ton of weight in there, but if you just got a pistol in there, it'll probably float. But look. Uh, next layer of foam, it's dry. So it didn't leak a whole lot. Just got a little bit on the top there, and the napkin got wet. And the foam on the top here is a little wet. But below here, it's all dry. Set for a little bit of water dripping down off the lid there, but no, oh, very bottom has a little wet spot in there. Okay, the very bottom foam got a little wet, but so after 24 hours, the Apache case did end up leaking, unfortunately, even though it's got a the two piece rubber seal around the lid in the case, but depending on what you got in here, which is like a pistol or or a camera or something, it's probably going to be light enough to where it's going to float and won't be submerged. But if you need something that you can just keep underwater for a couple of days or several weeks, well, this isn't it. But if you need something that you can put a uh, pistol in or, or some gear or camera or something that, and don't have to worry about it getting wet at, under normal like rain or sprinkles or something when you're out camping, then this should do the trick. This should keep things dry. And even if you do accidentally drop it in the pond or something, it's probably going to float. Uh, so it probably won't leak because it'll be floated. I just want to do a little update on that. Now, got a couple rocks in here, another napkin. Anyway, they stayed down to keep it underwater too, but we're today reviewing item number 63181. Military style ammo can from Harbor Freight. It's a metal one. Um, feels just as strong as the old fashioned ammo cans that have in the military. But this one even has a rubber seal around it. It's supposed to be water resistant. Let's see. Can put ammunition, fishing gear, electronics, camera. 
guns, whatever. Doesn't come with any foam like the Hibachi case. It says watertight seal. Doesn't say like waterproof or water resistant, just says watertight seal. Probably for like normal rain condition, it's not really, probably not meant to be submerged for extended period of time, but let's see, let's open up and see how it did. The napkin is dry. The rocks are dry. Ooh, but there is a little bit of water in the bottom. Just because a napkin was or tissue there was at the top, it stayed dry, but it did apparently leak a little bit, but it all ran to the bottom, keeping the tissue dry, but it did apparently leak a little bit. But this says after being submerged 24 hours, probably just meant keep stuff dry. Like if it's in the back of your pickup truck or if you're out camping it raining, not really made to be keeping stuff dry underwater at this swimming pool or while you're scuba diving. But again, if um, pay how much weight in there, it'll probably float somewhat. Them three rocks is still wanting to float how you put a block on top. Because with these three rocks it was still floating. And if it's floating, then it's not going to be leaking. But but both these were five dollars with the Harbor Freight Twelve Tools of Christmas deal. Spend fifty dollars, and then you could get one of each for five dollars with the coupons. So not bad deal. Either of them for only five bucks. They're water resistant under normal rain use, outdoor use, or just not completely waterproof, slight leaks if left for 24 hours or more. Right, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you out with your purchasing choices in the future. Uh, both these are normally about 15 or 20 bucks, but you can get them on sale with coupons. But uh, For the $5, Joe Smith paid for them. No complaints for the price, even though when submerged, they do leak slightly. But Joe Smith's not planning on having them outside or submerged, so they should work perfect. It's been Joe Smith signing out.